Although being famous may seem like a blessing, it has a lot of drawbacks. Constant public attention and media scrutiny is not an easy thing to deal with, and it makes it almost impossible to have a normal life. Even when they're not working, actors are still on the clock. With their careers constantly in flux, the slightest action could change everything. In an industry where things are so fluid, a performer can go from zero to hero overnight. But unfortunately, the opposite is also true. So whether it's because of their careers, sketchy personal lives, or simply falling victim to the Hollywood machine, here are 10 actors who have aged in shocking ways. Macaulay Culkin One of the cutest kids to ever appear on screen, Macaulay Culkin's most iconic work is enjoyable to this day. When the holidays come around, people order themselves an extra cheese pizza, make an ice cream sundae, and turn on 1990's Home Alone. Watching Kevin McAllister defend his homestead against two idiot burglars is a timeless experience. One made even better by nine-year-old Culkin's performance. After the movie's success, his star began to rise. And quickly the actor was making millions of dollars per movie dollars which were handled by his parents. Family turmoil proved overwhelming, and the young performer ended up leaving the business until things were sorted out. Keep the change, you filthy animal. He's since returned to acting and plays in a band called The Pizza Underground. Wesley Snipes Wesley Snipes has a bad attitude towards authority, and for years that's part of what made him successful. When he shows up on screen, odds are he's there to kick multiple asses. In fact, he's so good at kicking asses that he was chosen to play the big screen adaptation of Blade, a character who only exists to kick asses. But fans did experience an interruption in an otherwise consistent stream of ass kicking. That came when the actor's disdain for authority landed him in some trouble with the IRS. He spent three years in jail for tax evasion. Ouch. Some mother are always trying to ice skate on hill. I'm not finished! Mel Gibson. If you took a time machine back to the early 90s, you couldn't find a more in-demand actor than Mel Gibson. If you were to tell someone that in the future the actor would be abandoned by his agency, they'd look at you like you were nuts. But you wouldn't be wrong. He was a Hollywood powerhouse, making moves on screen and off, and has the Academy Awards from Braveheart to prove it. But rumors about Gibson began to spread years later, and after a few voicemails found their way to the internet, a lot of those rumors were proven. He offended a lot of people in a short time frame. That earned him a reputation as a racist, a misogynist, or all of the above. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf Shia LaBeouf was the best part of Even Stevens, a show that ran for three seasons on the Disney Channel in the early 2000s. And while the network continues to pump out superstars, it's also a commonality in many stories of wholesome young performers gone wild. But that wouldn't happen to Shia, right? Wrong. The actor enjoyed massive success after Even Stevens and became the face of Michael Bay's Transformers franchise reboot. But beginning with a DUI arrest in 2008, his public persona started to change in a big way. The actor was called out for plagiarizing work by writer Daniel Close, and then responded to the backlash with a plagiarized apology. He's still acting, just mostly in memes. Winona Ryder Winona Ryder has been working since the late 80s and has been a part of legendary movies in the process. From Beetlejuice and Edward Scissorhands to Reality Bites and Girl Interrupted, the actress proved that she can hop between genres with ease. Longevity is not something a lot of actresses experience, and Hollywood is often accused of being harder on women than they are on men. So while she may have been untouchable as a performer, as a human she was fair game. And when she was busted for shoplifting in 2001, the media ran with it. Recently, the actress acknowledged the incident and asserted that the whole thing was blown out of proportion. She never strayed too far from the big screen though, and recently teamed up with Netflix for the enormously successful Stranger Things. Chevy Chase As one of the original cast members of Saturday Night Live, Chevy Chase has some serious bragging rights. And he's one of the OGs of comedy. So when Dan Harmon was looking for an older actor to play a community college curmudgeon for his TV show, Chase was the right choice. The show had its highs and lows, but gained a loyal fan base thanks to its quirky style. Everyone was having a blast on set, except for Chase. He and Harmon clashed when it came to defining what is and isn't funny. After the actor left an angry voicemail for Harmon, it was leaked onto the internet. That, coupled with reports of him using racial slurs on set, ultimately led to his character Pierce being scaled way back in the series. And the stigma has followed him since. Amanda Bynes since the beginning of her career, Amanda Bynes has proven that girls can be hilarious. Starting out on Nickelodeon's sketch comedy show All That, 
she climbed the ladder all the way to feature films. And even though the actress was unbelievable in She's the Man, the majority of audiences will recognize her from the 2007 film adaptation of Hairspray. The starlet retired from acting in 2010 but stayed in the public eye because of some erratic behavior and a string of tweets. In 2012, Vines was arrested numerous times and charged with DUIs among other things. Fans watched in awe as the actress took her rants to Twitter, prompting a few professionals to intervene. She's now enrolled in fashion school and recently spoken about how she received the help she needed. I didn't say anything. Lindsay Lohan If you were around in the 90s, you probably remember the 1998 remake of The Parent Trap. In the movie, two identically adorable kids conspire to reunite their parents. And that's when the world met little Lindsay Lohan, who played both of the movie's freckled twins. Honey, you never look better. Audiences were surprised that such a young kid could do double duty, especially when most singular kids' roles actually require twins. Lohan was quick to make her newfound Hollywood cred work for her. She landed a role that catapulted her into stardom with 2004's Mean Girls. But as the years went on, her talent was overshadowed by some personal drama. And although she's continued to do some acting work since, her earlier success has never been replicated. I swear you look just like him. Johnny Depp Viewers were introduced to Johnny Depp in a little show called 21 Jump Street. And after he requested to be fired, the actor took a hard left into a career that would take him as far away from his wholesome image as possible. The actor showed off his range in the years to come, and that earned him points with all kinds of moviegoers. From Edward Scissorhands to Benny and June to Donnie Brasco, Depp's work was all over the map. And then in 2003, Pirates of the Caribbean happened. Beginning with Captain Jack Sparrow, Depp's opponents argue all his roles began to bleed into one, a quirky guy with a quirkier hat, and that the only thing on display now is his wasted talent. It's like you don't know me at all, mate. Gwyneth Paltrow You wouldn't know it by her reputation today, but Gwyneth Paltrow used to be one of America's sweethearts. The actress has quite the range, too. She was adorable as young Wendy in 1991's Hook. She even got to be the head in a box at the end of Seven. What's in the box? What's in the box? But since her Oscar win for 1998's Shakespeare in Love, she slowly began to lose favor with audiences. The actress is a vocal supporter of a very specific type of diet and lifestyle, which for a lot of people is far too pricey to commit to. She also made moms everywhere shake with rage when she insisted that parenting was easy for them but hard for her, and she never even acknowledged the disparity in that statement. It seems like the more public her personal life gets, the less audiences like her. What do you think of our list? Did we miss any actors whose careers aged horribly? Tell us about them in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.